everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Um, I'm back again. I feel like we've had this conversation many times, but I'm back for now. Um, I haven't actually sat down and filmed a video in like two months. This feels really weird. I feel like I've kind of forgotten how to do everything, so bear with if this is a little bit weird. But um, I'm doing makeup today. I'm gonna have a little catch up. It's gonna be fun, very chill. So I'm gonna zoom you in and just get going on my makeup, and then we'll have a little catch up as I do so. So yeah. Let's go. Makeup wise, I want to do something very glowy, very springy. I feel like that's the makeup I've been wearing the most recently, just where like the weather's getting a little bit nicer. I kind of just want to wear something really glowy. Um, my skin has been really weird again recently. I've kind of just accepted that my skin is just this now, um, which is fine. It's cool. It's doing its thing. I respect it. That's always been like the main problem with my skin, but I feel like once I'm like in the sun and stuff, it always clears up a little bit. So I'm just kind of bearing with it for now. So I want to do something that's still really natural, feels really light, but has like enough coverage. So I'm going to kind of show you how I've been doing that recently. And then, yeah, I think eyes will be pretty simple. It's going to be like a mainly skin focused thing just to get me back into it but yeah um so my skin is like moisturized and primed and everything we're good to go so I use is the Giorgio Armani fluid sheer this is a glow enhancer so this is one of those products you can use in loads of different ways which is why I really like it and um, so I'm just taking like two pumps of that and then I kind of just work it all into my skin um obviously it just gives like a really really nice glow so it's kind of one of them that you can use under makeup you can pat it over the top of your makeup it's the kind of thing like in summer I'd probably just wear on its own you know when your skin already has that really nice glow to it i always like to do this when i want everything to just look really glowy because it kind of glows from underneath whatever products you're going to put over the top of it foundation i've been kind of falling back in love with this old milk one you can see it's all rubbed off this was very loved like last summer and um, this is a shade light medium and this is the one where you kind of like pump it up it's like a really cool packaging so it's like the nicest summer foundation in the world I literally love the roller on this. At first I was a bit like, mm, not sure how I feel about that, but it is so easy. Taking a damp sponge, I'm just going to start patting that in. This does work really nicely with a brush as well, but I've just been using it with a sponge recently a bit more. As I was saying about YouTube, um, so it feels nice to be filming a video and stuff. I always have a very like love-hate relationship with YouTube. I feel like I've spoken about this before, and I think a lot of people do kind of feel the same way about it um but I don't know I feel like I wanted to kind of I really want to love it again as much as I did when I was first doing it and I feel like it's also a little bit of a waste when I've kind of built up a platform and here and I know people like watching them so it does feel like a little bit of a waste to just kind of give up on it just because I've kind of gotten out of a routine of it probably um I feel like I always feel a little bit more inspired with makeup around this kind of time of year it's fun I enjoy like spring summery makeup way more so I don't know I'm hoping that I can kind of get back into like a swing of it no, I think I'm just very like self-critical as well like if I don't think it's good enough to put out even though people would watch it and probably enjoy it I won't post it so I think I found that a little bit disheartening just when I was like maybe not necessarily in the frame of mind to be filming it I think it was kind of putting me off because I was just not enjoying anything I was doing um but yeah it feels nice to kind of just be like chilling filming today. I actually forgot how relaxing I find making videos. Um, so yeah, trying to kind of get back to that. A very, very long winded way of me saying that I am going to try and come back to making videos. I feel like I have a little bit more time now. It just takes a little bit more planning. Like we're doing this alongside like tattooing and stuff, but it can be done and I think I enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do. To be doing like springy makeup and stuff. I feel like last year I was really into like doing like pastel colours and stuff and I think now my hair isn't like pink anymore I think it's going to be really nice so what I've been doing recently is taking the KVD Good Apple Foundation and um, this is the shade medium 30 and I've been actually just patting that really lightly over the areas that I feel like I just need a little bit more um, it does tend to be my cheeks that scar but I think that's quite common and like I like my skin still looking like my skin I don't want to completely cover everything but it's just nice to give a little bit more coverage sometimes. I'm going to take the Milk Makeup Sunshine Under Eye Tint. This is the shade... This is the shade 2. Um, and again, it has like the little pumpy things. Running that underneath my eyes. This is probably one of my favourite concealers ever. I just love this so much. I'm going to start packing that in. It just like melts in really nicely and it never feels cakey. Which is really nice. Like an insane kind of probably last two months like it's been non-stop 
um, which is really nice. Like I've kind of learned that that's probably where I like thrive a little bit more is actually in that kind of very close to like burning yourself out stage, which I know doesn't sound good, but for me that's kind of just where I like myself when I'm just like crazy like running around and it's just non-stop. I said it's kind of nice. I'm coming to the end of that like crazy time in my life of like every week being really really busy and not really having any days off. I'm really appreciating like just a bit of time now, which is weird because I'm still working full time. Um but it just feels nicer because I think I was working probably too much towards the end of last year. So I'm just gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is the shade one and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna start setting everything in place. I don't want to set anything down too much but I just want to Make sure it's going to stay in place and get rid of a bit of shine. I'm just going to bronze my skin up using the Lottie London Sunkiss Bronzer. Um, this is the shade Suncatcher. This is a slightly more red toned bronzer than the Vive one that I normally use every day. The skin to have that really, really sunkissed look. Uh, you know, like when you've been in the sun for like a week and your skin just looks really really rosy and really warm um i kind of just want that i do feel like whenever i use that bronzer i just look like i've been on holiday straight away the blush i'm going to take the nude sticks in the nude all over face color i was like obsessed with this last summer as well i think i was using this in like all my videos and i found it this morning so i was like i need to bring that back um but yeah this is just a really beautiful almost kind of like terracotta -y, peachy color so it works really nicely with this skin look and i'm just gonna on a little bit. I can't remember how pigmented this is or not, so I'm not going to go like too crazy just yet. I'm actually just going to use my fingers to pat that in. I love using my hands to do my makeup. I feel like people, I don't know, people are still kind of funny about that. I don't know why, like it just always works really nicely and I think it always blends makeup into your skin really nice because you have like the warmth from your hands. If I feel like my makeup's gone on a little bit too heavy, I normally just use my hands to kind of pat it down a little bit. I feel like that's it for kind of base makeup, so I'm just gonna add some little freckles in. Um, I've actually been using the Cash Beauty Rich Sienna Lip Liner recently for this. Um, I just think it looks really natural and really nice, so I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit. So I did actually have my freckles tattooed, um, probably like a month and a bit ago, and I literally love them so much. So you can see they kind of like poke through uh, my makeup, so I kind of just go over couple of them and then normally like add a few more um i didn't get too many tattooed but i've been drawing my freckles on for probably like six years so i was like i know that i really like them whenever i don't do them i think i look really weird so and i only had like the ones that i draw on every day tattooed in and then obviously some days like today i want to add more um so it's really nice to actually have the option of adding more or just having less i had quite a few more in over my nose today just because I want that really kind of summery, fresh look. I'm going to fill my brows in a little bit. I'm just going to use a dark brown shadow for this. This is from the Beauty Bay Jade Palette. Um, and use a little Vive angled brow brush. My eyebrows are really light at the moment because I need to dye them. Um, but I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I was like, I'm going to do it all together so I feel dark and mysterious. i hair mask in my hair at the moment. I'm doing the uh, two for one hair mask and slick back look. But every time I kind of pop back up and make another video, my hair is completely different and I just I just don't address it anymore. We're just, this is who we are. That being said, I think I'm gonna keep the brown for quite a long time. I always feel like the most like myself with dark hair. It always feels like the most comfortable for me. It's probably when I feel like the best about myself. Um, I feel like the pink and like orange and stuff was really fun at the time. I want something a little bit easier at the moment. Um, so yeah, I just filled them in a little bit, just kind of thickened up some bits. Um, so then for my eyes, I don't really want to do too much to them. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. One sec, bear with. I'm actually planning on doing like nothing on my eyes, but I've just remembered that I've been doing this makeup look all the time and a lot of people have asked me to film it and I just haven't, so we're going to do that. Um, so it's just kind of like, let me get you a pick. So this kind of thing, just like a very um, kind of like smoky cat eye kind of thing. And I feel like it looks nice with this skin look because it's kind of the contrast is really nice. So I'm going to do that. It's actually really quick and easy to do. I feel like I've kind of got it down to the most simple way of doing it. So let's do that. Um, so what I've been doing is come a little bit closer. 
might be too close, but it's fine. I'm gonna take a black kind of pencil liner. This is the Sleek Life Proof 12 Hour Wear Coal Liner, um, just in black. And what I do is literally just draw the shape like really lightly. And I feel like this kind of look is quite fun because you can obviously decide like how much you want to wing it or not. And then I just really roughly kind of go along the lash line the whole way. But like keeping really close, I don't want to go too thick there. Like so, so it just looks really messy. And then kind of the same underneath, but I sort of stick a lot closer to the waterline. With something kind of like this. So then I just take a really small brush, the Vive number 225 Precise Eyeshadow Packer, and I literally just start blending it out. And then when it comes to the wing, I kind of just buff that really lightly. And then yeah, this is kind of when you can decide like how big or small you want to go with the wing. To bring it quite round from the lower lash line, just because I think with my eye shape it kind of like elongates it the most. Um, but obviously you can do whatever you want. And then yeah, just follow that really lightly, blending it out. So obviously you want to make sure you've got a liner that blends. Um, this one blends really nicely. And then when I get to the inner corner, just like really, really gentle, not using much pressure at all. Yeah, that's literally it. It's like the quickest, easiest thing to do. Um, so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye really quick. This is kind of one of them that like, if I'm at work and then I'm like going out, this is just what I do. Um, it's just really quick and easy and you can obviously do it over kind of whatever makeup you've got on. And I obviously like it kind of the grandier and darker it is, but it is one of those that you can do kind of whatever feels best with it. Um, even this with like brown looks amazing because it's obviously a bit softer but you've still got that like really nice definition. I'm actually going to smoke it out a little bit more because why not. So I'm just kind of using like way less pressure now and just sort of like really smoking that line out. And I feel like just using less pressure is so much easier than like faffing around of using like grey shadows and like when I used to do smoky liners I'd always like do it in black and then I'd like buff it out with brown and whatever, which does look really cool, but it's obviously a lot more effort. This is like a really, really quick, easy eye. There we go. So once I'm at this point, I just take the liner again and just make sure that my waterline is completely black. I'm just going to chuck some mascara on. Um, this is the new Byredo mascara. I just think the packaging is so cool. Look at that. Very arts and crafts. Um, so I'm just going to put that on my... Should I do the bottom ones? Nah. I'm just going to build up my lashes. I'm going to just pull like the majority of my bottom lashes off, if that makes sense, just because I don't like it to be too long. I feel like it kind of disrupts the bottom lash line, if that makes sense. Taking the Labuta mascara, I'm just going to like really build them up so they're super chunky. It's obviously ridiculous and very unnecessary. At first, I was like, this is just ridiculous does anyone need a Labuta mascara but I do I actually do and I've had this for like well over a year it's probably expired but it's just never like dried out or gone weird it's just really really good ah oh, yes I love doing a really natural no makeup makeup look this is not what I was planning on but Happy to be here nonetheless. I feel like that's it for eyes. They're done. I kind of like them to just be really simple, just black. Um, that's the kind of makeup that I really love. Very Taylor Momsen, which I'm into, for eyes and stuff. So I'm just going to do my lips and then we're all done. Okay, I'm going to add a bit more concealer. Quick, just down the sides. My nose. Sometimes I feel like when I do like a darker eye, it just needs a little bit more. It kind of becomes more of like a glam than a... No one cares. I don't need to justify it. I'm doing it. I've done it. For my lips, I've got a really cool new product. New Refi Lip Liners. Um, obviously, Refi is Jess Hunt's brand. She's beautiful. Um, I think there was maybe six lip liners. This is the shade Taupe. Um, these are really interesting because they're like 
a wind up liner there and then you twist this bit. Yes, you do. Mm, you do. Normally I do. Oh, there we go. You twist this bit and it has this bit and it has like a clear kind of setting thing. Um, these are insane. Like they literally do not move. So you obviously line your lips like normal. You can fill your lips in with it and then use the setting thing and they honestly don't budge. Like it's insane. So yeah, I'm obsessed with these. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm just gonna start filling it in. Go, and then, yeah, taking the other end of it. So I kind of like wipe off the excess because you don't want to use too much of it. Um, and then, just like running that. Like the excess in. Uh, I'd say like sometimes if you use too much of the setting thing, it can feel a little bit dry. No more than like, you know, the MAC matte lipstick days. If you've survived those, I think it'll be all right. Dried down, like I'm literally pushing so hard on my lips and like nothing comes off at all. Crazy. These are literally like a game changer because I feel like whenever I go out, like your lip line is obviously the first thing to go when you're eating and drinking and stuff. So these are just amazing. So I feel like I'm kind of done. I'm just gonna set everything in place with the iconic Prep Set Glow. There we go, that is the finished look. So I'm just gonna show you everything close up so you can see it all together. Okay, that is the finished look for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this and thank you for being here. Um, it feels really nice to be back and yeah, I really hope to be filming more videos if it's something that people still wanna see, I don't know. I just always think people don't wanna see them but hopefully they do. So. Yeah, um, as always, everything that I have mentioned and used will be linked in the description box down below. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon. Love you.